Hello everybody. We have with us today Mr. Obhijit Gongopadhyay, a former judge of the Calcutta High Court. Mr. Gongopadhyay has practically become a household name in West Bengal because of his rulings in a number of very high profile cases including the school service commission recruitment scam that has rocked the state. In March this year, Mr. Gongopadhyay resigned from the judiciary months before his formal retirement and joined the Bharatiya Janata Party. He is today the Lok Sabha candidate of the BJP for the Tomluk seat. On April 22, the Calcutta High Court cancelled the 2016 recruitment panel of set up by the SSC. That cost around 25,000 753 teachers and non-teachers of classes 9 to 12 their jobs. Sir, do you see this as a culmination of the judicial process that you had started, initiated with your judgments earlier? Yes, uh, it is one way to see this as a culmination of my crusade against corruption. And all these things uh, have taken place due to the that corrupt lady and her corrupt political party full of corrupt persons, Srinamul Congress and Mumbatha Banerjee. From that day when this judgment was passed on 22nd April, I have stopped recognizing her as Chief Minister of Bengal. He does not fit in that post. The history of Bengal's uh, Chief Ministership starts from uh, Dr. Profullo Ghosh, Vidhan Roy, etc. till Buddhadev Bhattacharya. I never found during my time maybe from 77, 1977 till date. One chief minister is making false statements. That too of Bengal. She does not know anything about Bengal. She does not have any feeling for Bengal. She does not have also any feeling for this country, India. The highly corrupted person So, she is wholly misfit for the present post which she has occupied with the help of some other persons and as a result of some wave against the then ruling party, CPIM, and in the next wave, she will be gone. How do you think that the ruling of April 22 impact the Lok Sabha elections this time? Have some impact definitely because it is a question of corruption and also a question of employment of uh, fit candidates and this Trinamool Congress and their leader Mahmoud Abenerji has maneuvered the situation in courtroom in such a way that all the candidates' services are terminated because of cancellation of the whole process. Um, they have never replied to the 17 questions, 17 points raised by the court. Never. They have not done so. And they are now saying a lot of things against the judiciary, against the judge, against other judges, other persons. But what are the reply to those 17 questions? There is nothing. So the whole scenario is a product of Trinamool Congress and Mamata Banerjee who earned illegally huge money by selling jobs. And now the thieves are caught. That is why she is reacting in a manner which is wholly uncivilized, uncultured and unknown to the polity of Bengal. 
PMC is trying to project the BJP and you for that matter as someone who has uh, taken jobs away from the youth. Momata Banerjee has said that she has fielded a youth leader, Debangshu uh, Bhattacharya, as your opponent for this reason. Now, how are you going to counter this strategy? A wholly corrupted political party, no strategy is required, only some facts are to be stated to the voters of this constituency and all other constituencies. Uh, this is the reply to your to the second part of your question. And in respect of the first part, the Mamata Banerjee has never said whether what they did, as has appeared from the uh, hard disks of the computer, where the numbers were saved, whether 12 is higher than 72, 35 is higher than 55, they have never said that. How a person has got his place in the panel by submitting the blank question paper, blank Weimar sheet. How? How this was done? And this is not the only case. There are several numbers, huge numbers of persons have done this and they purchase the jobs. Why more the energy is not explaining the the unearthing of several crores of rupees from her last education minister Partho Chatterjee's um, um, friend's house, girlfriend's house, and huge, huge quantity of gold. She is is she is wholly silent about all this and making one after another misleading and uncultured statements to the people of of everywhere in West Bengal, knowing fully well that he is telling only the half truth. Now from the courtrooms of the Calcutta High Court to the rough and tumble world of politics, how are you adjusting to these to this completely different world that you have now entered? Now that you don't have the robe of the judge to uh, protect you, uh, or to deter um, personal attacks and to protect the dignity of your person, because you are now constantly under personal attack all the time. So uh, how are you dealing with this constant attack? Joining BJP and after getting the nomination from Tamluk seat, I am very busy in campaigning. I have not been able to see the organizational part. So, as of now, I am fine because it is my only job is to um, campaign for the BJP in this constituency and other constituencies also. And um, regarding personal attacks, I would say that when I was a judge, the uncultured political person's party, Srinamul Congress, it is not a political party. It is a Jatra party, but is known in Bengal. Uh, the Jatra party uh, attacked me personally several times. I ignored that. And my method of uh, my method of tackling this is to ignore most of the personal attacks. The personal attacks have, have touched a new low when some of their Dalal advocates, they have, they also attacked me personally. And uh, this time when I do not have any, um, any protection as is given to a judge. I do not feel any difference because even at that point of time, they attacked me personally. 
now also they have attacked, attacked me in the same way with some lower degree of attacks and it's a, it has touched a new low. So I do not care. They are this uh, wholly uncultured, unpolitical remarks. They do not have any political philosophy. They are a bankrupt so far as political thoughts are concerned. So this is not a political party and I do not care them. As a judge, you were known to be a crusader against corruption. Now, as you continue in your political journey, will you be able to reconcile in the days to come the allegations of corruption against your own party as is bound to happen in politics? See, in the last 10 years, nobody has been able to raise any question as to fairness of Modi government. They tried to but failed because all these were baseless. Oh, it is a new chapter in the politics of India. But for the first time, keeping in mind the Nehru Krishna Menon fiasco, for the first time, for the last 10 years, there is no allegation of corruption against Modi government. So I do not think uh, there will be any allegation this time also. If it is made with some uh, authenticated documents or some substantiation, then definitely we will have to give our counter to that. But the opposite parties, opposition parties in the in this democracy are so corrupt themselves and so inefficient that they will be destroyed before for their own reason, not by any political party or not by BJP. They will be de they will destroy themselves. And it is impossible for them to raise any question, though it is always expected that some questions are required to be raised in democracy. I believe some small political parties will be able to do that. And if it is done, we, we will also be prepared to give reply to those allegations. So that from this interview, you are going to go directly out into the evening to campaign. Are you enjoying the interaction with the masses and how are they taking to a uh, judge of the High Court coming down to them and reaching out to them? Of course, I am enjoying my new role and the uh, uh, people whom I see at the, during my campaign are very much enthusiastic about the fight against corruption. They also say that our Bengal has to be reconstructed from this debris due to this corruption of Trinamool Congress. Most of them and they want that. The responsible citizen of this constituency, not only only this constituency, other constituencies as well. Thank you so much, sir, for taking time out from your busy schedule mm -hmm. and uh, all the best. Namaskar. Namaskar.